American Axle and Manufacturing, AAM, builds OEM axles for Chevrolet and GMC trucks, Dodge trucks, and the Ram. The bump to 35 inch diameter tires on our Dodge Ram 3500 required a gear set change from 373 to 1 to 456 to 1. The right tools are an important part of any axle build. The AAM units require some specialty tools, and in this step-by-step -step coverage of the ring and pinion gear set change, tools play an important part. Some tools are inexpensive, others can be improvised. A few will require your willingness to invest in tooling. We always run tooth contact pattern tests, regardless of the pinion setting method. The inside step of the tool allows the bearing to end up below the lip of the carrier flange. The tool must clear the lip. If the original bearings are in reasonably good condition, carefully route out the inside diameter of the bearing cones just enough to finger press fit the bearing onto the pinion shaft. The new pinion shaft will use the dummy bearings and a 54 thousandth of an inch shim stack. In this case, use your original pinion shim thickness for the first trial test. Careful application of sealant can reduce risk of any oil seepage. Before tightening the bearing preload at the right side adjuster, set up your dial indicator as shown here. Place some counter force load on the pinion flange and get a tooth contact impression. This is a Dodge Ram 3500 ring and pinion gear change out. Ring gear bolts are left hand thread. If play is removed with zero backlash of the ring and pinion gear, tightening the preload on the right side will push the ring gear over just enough to establish the proper backlash. Pinion bearing preload is set with an inch pound torque wrench. AAM's nine and a quarter, 10 and a half, and 11 and a half inch axle designs have several quick service features. The crush sleeve for pinion preload adjustment and the threaded adjusting rings for setting carrier bearing preload are two time savers. Welding and surface grinding have eliminated any trace of the original bolt and plate as separate pieces. Metal fusion was complete. The new tool fits the adjuster ring. It's hook grabbing the slot hole much like the factory tool. The tool was tested on the 11 and half inch ring and pinion gear set installation. Avoid bending or shearing off the hook arm on either design.